Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah, Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. This is Lecture 4, uh, Einstein's Principle of Special Relativity. Um, Einstein's Principle of Special Relativity can be summarized uh, very succinctly in two very short postulates. Uh, the first of Einstein's two postulates is that the form of each physical law is the same in all inertial frames. We've already discussed what an inertial frame is. It's a, it's a reference frame that is a set of coordinate axes uh, attached to a particular point in space at a particular time moving at a particular velocity. And an inertial, what we mean by inertial means that it's not accelerating. It's moving with a uniform velocity. And the second of Einstein's uh, postulates is that light moves the same speed relative to all observers no matter uh, their reference frame. Now note that, um, that, that number two here follows from number one if we accept the fact that the speed of light is a physical law. Um, when Einstein formulated these, these postulates um, he just assumed this or inferred this um, but it wasn't it wasn't uh, rigorously proven since then there have been numerous experiments that have investigated this and there has never been an experiment that has proven otherwise so we now basically accept the notion that the speed of light is a physical law and that Einstein's postulates hold uh, in certain special circumstances, which is why we have, um, we call it special relativity, and we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's now discuss in a fairly qualitative way three particular consequences of Einstein's postulates that are quite non-intuitive, um, particularly since we're used to, in our everyday lives, using basically Galilean relativity, Galilean transformations, and um, the discussion here will be pretty brief and pretty qualitative, but this is just a preview of what's coming in more detail um, in the next several lectures. The first consequence of Einstein's postulates can be summed up very succinctly in what's written here. Two events at different locations that are simultaneous in one reference frame will not be simultaneous in another reference frame that is moving with respect to the first. Now remember what an event is. An event is anything that occurs at a particular point in space and at a particular time. So if we have two things, two different things, but if those two different things occur at the same point in space and at the same time, then all observers must agree on the simultaneity of those two events. That is, if they're not separated in space, if they don't occur at different locations, and if then then they must then all observers in different reference frames must agree on their simultaneity. So back to the um, the original discussion where the two events happen at different locations, um, these events actually occur at different times. This is not an optical illusion of any, some, of any sort. It has nothing to do with the observers seeing things happen at different times because of, for example, the propagation of light from the events to the observer in the different, um, the different frames. No, it's it actually the event, the the two events actually occur at different times um, to the two observers that are in different reference frames. Okay.